From the beginning and before the world was I created, and unto the world to come I shall not cease to be, and in the holy dwelling place I have ministered before him. Hello my friends and welcome to True Heroes. So we're just going to talk about briefly the history, the early history of St. Mary Major, the basilica in Rome that houses um, a variety of relics, but most um, specifically the crib of our Lord. So let us begin the story. There are in Rome three patriarchal churches in which the Pope celebrates ceremonies on different festivals. And these basilicas are St. John Lateran, St. Peter's, and St. Mary Major. Now the story behind St. Mary Major begins with a Roman patrician named John and his wife, who were equally of a noble race, but having no children to whom they might leave their estates, they vowed their whole fortune, all of their property, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, begging her to make known to them by some means and what work, what pious work, what charity they should give all their money to. And the Blessed Virgin Mary answered with a miracle. On in early August anyway, which is usually the hottest time of the year in Rome, and I can certainly vouch for that. I was there maybe five years ago around that time of year and it was definitely very warm. On a part of the Esquiline Hill was covered with snow during the night. And that same night, the Mother of God appeared in a dream to John and his wife separately and told them to build a church on the spot they would find covered with snow and to dedicate it to the Virgin Mary. John related this dream to Pope Liberius and the Pope responded that he had dreamt the exact same thing. So he went, therefore, with a solemn procession of priests and the people to the hill, which was covered in snow, and shows the specific site on that hill for the church, which was built with the money of John and his wife. It was afterwards rebuilt by Sixtus III about the year 435, and has been called by a variety of names. At first, it was called the Liberian Basilica, named after Pope Liberius, who began the first construction. It was also called St. Mary at the Crib. But since there are many churches in Rome dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary, and as this one surpasses all other basilicas in dignity, I can also vouch for that. I have been there. I was there quite a few times, actually, when I was visiting Rome. And by its miraculous beginning, of course, it is distinguished from them also by the title of St. Mary Major. Major coming from the Latin word for bigger or larger or more important. On account of the miraculous fall of snow, the anniversary of the dedication is celebrated by a yearly solemnity, which is tomorrow or today, depending on when this gets posted. The same basilica, as I've already mentioned, has been known as St. Mary ad Precepe, that is to say from the Holy Crib or Manger of Bethlehem, in which Christ was laid at his birth. It resembles an ordinary manger and is kept in a case of massive silver and it lies and in it lies an image of a little child which is also made of silver. On Christmas Day the holy manger is taken out of the case and exposed and it is kept in a small chapel below the main altar of the basilica. So with the story of one of the constructions of the major basilica of Rome, let us trust in Our Lady, trust that she will be our protectress. This is what she told John in the dream, that she wanted to be the special protectress of Rome and that this basilica would be the symbol of this protection from her. So let us trust her then as our mother and trust in her protection for her children. Tomorrow is the Feast of the Transfiguration of our Lord, so we will probably continue with our talk about the Holy Shroud 
uh, rather than anything else. Maybe, maybe I'll change it up, I'm not sure, but we'll probably go back to the Holy Shroud for tomorrow. Until then, God bless you all, my friends. Our Lady of the Snows, pray for us.